I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet Weather Report. Well, April has been a time of storms across Oklahoma, and our hearts go out to those in Woodward who lost family and friends in this last round of stormy weather. Between April 9th and the 15th, there were 13 tornadoes reported across six counties in Oklahoma. During that same April 9th to 15th time period, 21 counties reported hail damage. Hail sizes ranged from pea size to a whopping four and a quarter inches that busted windows and damaged crops in Woodward on April 9th. Along with the hail came rain. The Mesonet rainfall map for the second week in April shows how the heaviest rains were banded across the southwest and northern half of the state. The highest recorded amount was just over five inches in Miami. The tan to reddish bands had amounts from two and a half to five inches. The green map areas were less, three quarters to two inches of rain, and then the blue areas came in at mostly a half inch or less. Even with all the stormy weather, Oklahoma's three-day average of four-inch bare soil temperatures stayed warm. A map from April 18th shows soil temperatures in the upper 60s across the southern part of Oklahoma and in the lower 60s in the upper part of Oklahoma. Gary, how have these storms impacted our drought situation? Thanks, Al. And as usual, let's start with the latest U.S. Drought Monitor report. As you can see from this report that came out on Thursday, much of Oklahoma is now drought free. That's thanks to a lot of that rain that came with the severe weather last week. Now Woodward, Oklahoma, which was so hard hit by tornadoes, is now completely free of dry conditions, which is good news for those folks. And we've had some more improvement out in the Oklahoma Panhandle as well. While things have been improving in Oklahoma, they've been getting worse elsewhere across the country. There is now severe to exceptional drought over much of the southeastern corner of the United States, up the eastern seaboard, up into the northeastern parts of the United States, over in the desert southwest, and over into California, and up in the northern plains as well. Let's take a look at this drought monitor change map. Now the blues and greens indicate improving drought conditions, and the browns and reds indicate worsening drought conditions. We've had great relief here in Oklahoma since spring began. So looking at this Oklahoma Mesonet rainfall map for the March 1st through April 18th period, you can see just how much rainfall has fallen along the I-44 corridor. About 6 to 12 inches up and down that area, up into northeastern Oklahoma. About the same thing in southeastern Oklahoma, and a good 6 to 10 inches over other parts of the state. Now we do have parts of the state that haven't gotten as much, for instance in the west Oklahoma panhandle, about 2 to 3 inches and a few other two to three inch amounts scattered across the state. But still great rainfall for this spring, which is on course to be one of our top 10 wettest springs on record. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.